I am called the NYA, the son of wonderful. Good news again, again coming out from the homeland Anambra State. The proposed transatlantic University of Medicine and Health Sciences um, Umuchuku is to start academic uh, session uh, by September 2024. This coming September 2024, admissions and other uh, things will start. Um, we are going to discuss about this good news. Um, this university is going to um, set, start with the 17 sky rise, uh, skyscraper headquarter. Everything is put in place. And the Nigerian National University Commission uh, is on inspection. So everything is set for the take up on September 2024. Stay tuned. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. This is the site of that university, a 17-story skyline um, model uh, university, the first uh, in the history of West Africa, University of Medicine. Uh, you can see this is um, a state-of-the-art building that will... Uh, will uh, you know will be the headquarter of this university in Umuchuku in Orumba South local government of Anambra State these are the members of the uh, Nigeria um, National University Commission on inspection the man with the red cap is the Dr. Cosmas, uh, uh, um, the Dr. Cosmas, uh, um, Dr. Madoka, the the founder of the university. You can see him here with the with the chairman of the uh, NUC. That's the signpost uh, signboard near the university site. Okay. Hello, welcome back. Remember to share, remember to subscribe. Godwin Madoka said to unveil the tallest university building in Nigeria located in Umuchuku, Orumba South, Anambra State. As NUC team visit him in his hometown. The high power delegation of the National Universities Commission, NUC, has visited the yet to be unveiled Transatlantic Medicine and Health Science University in Anambra State, being spearheaded by the popular US based medical doctor and a philanthropist, Dr. Godwin Madoka. The NUT team led by the Executive Secretary, Mr. Christ Mayaki, expressed satisfaction with the quality of structure put in place, expected to house the medical university. The multi-billion Naira investment is believed to be part of its effort to redirect part of his business interests back to Nigeria from US, where he has six hospitals and empower experts locally, especially with the growing of brain drain in the industry. The NUC inspection team was a, a, a com, accorded befitting reception by the jubilant Umuchuku community in Orumba South, uh, local government of Anambra State, Nigeria. Mayaki applauded Mad Madoka for his decision 
to float such a gigantic project expressing the readiness of the university regulator to offer the needed support in ensuring that more opportunities are available for human capital development in the country. According to the AUC Executive Secretary, with a project of this nature, Nigeria will groom the needed manpower that will provide medical services to the teeming populars. Among the structures housing the proposed university is a 17-story sky, skyscraper building reputed to be the tallest building in the southeast and south-south regions of Nigeria. Also contained in the proposed university are the residence for the principal officers, the VC, the Bursar, Registrar, li Liberian, Lecture, Theater, Administrative Hostel, and other blocks. Madoka, in his remarks, said the project has become necessary in view of the Japa syndrome that has hit the medical industry. He assured that the university will be fully functional in September 2024 with the admission of students and other academic activities. The medical institution will house, among other others, pharmacy, dental, nursing, radiology, technology, and other allied health and research students. A team from the Project Implementation Committee was also at the inspection tour. This is wonderful for Anambra State. This is great news. This is great news for Nigeria. And this is great news for Anibo. If this man succeed, which is almost succeeding because almost he has um, finally um, uh, get to the level of uh, completion. With a timeline of September, this is a bold move. This, is, this will change the the medical brain drain in Nigeria. It will bring about massive investment. Anambra State will later become the, the medical uh, hub for Nigeria. I will just want to use also this opportunity to ask the governor of Anambra State, Professor Chuku Masoludo, to please dualize that road in front of this hospital. I know that road is very crucial. He need to expand that road very well. And he need to give this man the support he needed so that this uh, project will, uh, which will benefit the whole state and Nigeria, should come on stream letters by September. This is an investment by an Anambra, one of Anambra uh, man and woman of timber and caliber. So this is great. This is Akuluno project. This is this is number one Akuluno project. So we must commend him for this great news. This is great news. This is what is expected of our people. This is what is expected for all these billionaires, all those political billionaires. Let them get into something of investment like this. If you want to govern Anambra State, Show us the real investment you have put in Anambra State. Not using the money for election seasons and all those things. This is the real cocoa. Let us be uh, uh, investors of, of our land. Let us develop Anibo. Can you make Anibo de kwa mozo? Akuluno amaloe palia. Doctor Madoka, Godwin Madoka, may the good God protect you and bless you for thinking about the homeland. This is 
the number one university. This structure is a superstructure for an university in Africa. You can you can you can bet of that. So thank you very much. What is your view? Go to the comment section. Let us continue to discuss about this. I am still cordially NYE, the son of wonderful. See you in the next one. God bless you and bye. Remember to subscribe. Remember to share.